have his main good cell. And uh, Nicole Wallace, as I've muted, I, I, I just she's covering the New York Times breaking news that sending our kids back to school was going to harm children. Uh, hello, Captain Obvious. <clears throat> and of course, Nicole's going, oh, shame on me for thinking that schools could be safe for kids to reopen. I told you guys, no! Don't do it. Don't sacrifice your children. I had all these videos. Bring your daughter to the slaughter in the description. This was before I did my sound test <laughs> to uh, expose the YouTube employee's religious bigotry. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, you know, even Bob Woodward getting Trump on tape recorded audio of uh, confessing that, yeah, he knew how serious it was, he knew everybody gets infected, he knew there were going to be lots of lots and lots of deaths far beyond a flu. He knew that, and he purposely did what he did. So, Herbert, um, why did you then ignore your health professionals and trust Trump? Uh-huh, why did you then get caught paying for $800,000 of hydroxychloroquine <clears throat> and then try to claim, oh, oh, who did this? We're going to find out. We're going to hire a committee to investigate who signed my signature on the order form. <laughs> and then other nonsense, firing of key people and positions that were trying to tell him, no, Herbert, we are not going to lie and cover up for you. Fired. And uh, other people removed who are still disappeared to this day. I mean, we're talking crime boss stuff that Herbert's pulling here. And who is pulling his strings? Mormons? Anybody? Anybody care to venture a guess as to who is pulling the Mormon governor's strings? Yeah, Nelson, the medical doctor who gave masks to China, who then sold them back to Utah. <laughs> but the federal government stepped in and, and stole them, so they had to find another source to get the masks from. And then so, yeah, Nelson then gets a, a temple. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm sure that was uh, all above board. I mean, seriously, guys. Do you know that they're all playing you for fools? As your health, your lives are jeopardized. As they laugh when anti-maskers rise up and demand their free agency. When Bednar gets out and says, oh, and having to stay away from church is, is taking away our agency. Have you never even read the Zoramite story, Mormons? Seriously? You have a prophet trying to pull off the stunt of Oh, we need church to worship God. We can't worship God without church attendance during a pandemic. And you guys fall for it. Oh, yeah, he's a prophet of God. Yay, we are in the true church. Everything's great. All is well in Zion. And then Holland. Yeah, Holland. Pornography is like coronavirus. Oh, dear God. And so, no, this is not breaking news. That's what the health professionals were telling us and begging us and pleading with us and warning us from the beginning. Shut everything down. Economy be damned. But nope. 
And so now the consequences of not listening to the health professionals. I can understand you not wanting to listen to me. Who am I? Just some guy trying to save your life while those in positions of authority and trust are trying to take your life. It just blows my mind. And so, yeah, we're now skyrocketed by sending our kids back to school. And the teachers are all trying to figure out how to reopen the schools to send them back. We have schools thinking, oh, well, we need to do a deep clean. Hello? Hello? It's transmitted by breath. Hello? This is what we were told in the beginning. Breath. This is what Trump knew from the beginning. And the Bob Woodward tapes exposed it. Deep cleaning does nothing to protect against it. And so all the kids going back to school, zoop, right back. Because Herbert purposely is only quarantining those who can't breathe, who need a ventilator. Everybody else, back out into society to spread it. Back to church, back to the temple, back to the stores, back to work. Get off the free health care. <laughs> oh dear God, they hate you so much. And I've been trying to warn you about it. Trying to save your lives and you hate me. Now I understand the two Russians. Hey guys, where's Steven Seagal's newest movie? <laughs> but uh, and the rest of you, oh dear God, you got played. This ain't Joseph's church. This ain't God's church. You got played. 